Hey, what's up everybody, Nyan here. I just want to make a quick video response in regards to a bunch of questions I was just recently asked regarding uh, a bunch of photos I recently took. Um, I posted pictures of, um, of a jar with heart-shaped or bat-shaped lights coming out of it. Uh, one particular question I can easily answer right off the bat is that I do not have heart-shaped or bat-shaped lights. Uh, it's all just trick photography. And it's... I, le I learned it off of YouTube, actually. Um, it's really fun. It's really easy to do. Uh, all you need is a camera and a good lens. So uh, I just want to make a quick tutorial on how to do that. So yeah, here we go. Alright, so I'm going to be using my flip camera to be recorded because um, I'm obviously going to use this to shoot with. I normally record videos off of my camera, off my DSLR, but uh, since I'm using it as an example, um, I am using my flip camera. Uh, but uh, this camera is a Canon T2i, or 550D. Um, I have a 50mm lens on it, the f1.4. It's a really good lens. Um, and a good lens for this particular thing that we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to do. Uh, so the first step is uh, cut a hole in the box. Just kidding. <laughs> um, no, but seriously though, you, you do actually have to cut um, uh, circular shapes in the shape of, uh, about the, the shape of a lens cap. Um, as you can see here, I'm comparing um, the sizes here. I, I cut a little bit smaller than the lens cap so that it fits right into the lens right here so it stays and I'll show you what that looks like um, and once you cut out the circular shapes you'll have a solid just a solid circle um, for me I ended up cutting out cutting a line straight through it. I don't know if you can see that here but a line straight up here and then cut the shape that I wanted um, which is the heart in this case um, and then I taped it back right here just so that the line doesn't bleed uh, and what I mean by that is um, so that there's no there's no visible line. So if I sh hold this up here, you don't see any lines coming down right here. Um, and I tape that for that reason, so that lines there's a no, there's no line there. So it's like a solid shape. Um, and I did that with uh, a heart shape and then also uh, a bat shape as well. And I did the same thing too. I taped the bottom here after I cut out the other uh, shape. Now I just did this with scissors. You can do this with an exact knife. Um, to be, you know, to for fine details, you don't really need an exacto knife, but it's probably better if you want to do something that has like more details than just what I just made here. So that's just a good example. Okay, so um, as far as camera wise, like I said, this is the uh, 50 millimeter. Uh, 50 millimeters are generally good for this kind of thing, just so that um, it it helps bring out the light in the background uh, very well. Um, and it's what they call bokeh, or whatever you like to call or pronounce it. Um, but uh, it helps uh, blur the background. It has a nice shallow depth of field. So, um, but yeah, so when I go ahead and put uh, these in, I just lay it on top of the, the lens here. So let me go ahead and do that here. And I'll show a video of what it looks like with and without it. Um, and I'll show you how I set up... Uh, those pictures. Okay, so it sits right in front of the lens like that, and I could tip it and it doesn't really fall out. That's the reason why I made it a little bit smaller than the lens cap, and you can see the light right through it. So, yeah. And that's how you cut it out, and that's how you set up your camera and where to put this up. So, I'm going to show you what, uh, how I took those pictures. Alright, so basically, this is how I set up uh, the pictures. Uh, I actually use Christmas lights here. <clears throat> in particular, I use ones with uh, the white wiring here, as you can see, so that it blends in with uh, my door. My door is white here. Um, and then when you take the pictures, the wires don't stand out so much. And uh, and you'll see what I mean when I when I show a uh, video comparison. <clears throat> and here's the jar that I use. Uh, like like I said, with the 50 millimeter, it it it'll bring out the lights in the the shallow depth of field very well with with the jar, and I'll show you what that looks like as well. Uh, let me move him. I used R2 as an example. Move him to the side here. Okay, so yeah, and then let's get this all set up here. All right, so here's um, the visual of 
what it would look like if um, through the DSLR and the pictures that I'm taking. So this is in focus to the Christmas lights in the back. As you can see, the, the lights are on and the wires are very visible there. But when I, let's see, focus out of that and I just focus in on the, um, the jar there, you see how it's very defined in the jar. Let me move that just a little bit so it looks like right there. So it looks like it's coming out of the jar at least. Yeah, there we go. So, uh, yeah. So when I focus in and out of it, you see how the the lights blur a little bit and they turn into um, little balls. That's what uh, in photography they call bokeh. Um, it's really fun. It looks very cool. So that's without the uh, the heart shape uh, cutout that I made. And I'll show you what that looks like with the heart shape cut out. Okay, so that's without the heart shape cut out. So as you can see here, I'm gonna put this on and <clears throat> and focus in and out of it here for you. So put that in. All right. So now it's in. Um, and then now I'm gonna, just gonna focus out of that real quick. And there you go. There's your heart shaped lights. Now. I, I just set this up real quick so it doesn't look as cool as it did in my photos but uh, this is how you achieve that effect um, with uh, the little cutout and that's with the cutout in.